I'm Sharon Backman for CNET.com here with a how-to that will help you bring your tech full circle. I'm a tech junkie, so as much as I appreciate each one of my gadgets for what they are, I also like to see them working together. So today I'll show you how to stream music, photos, and videos from your Mac or PC to your PlayStation and onto the big screen. It's nice having everything in one place. First, make sure your PS3 is connected to your home network either wirelessly or hardwired with an Ethernet cable. Once you're connected, go to the Settings menu, Network Settings, and then head down to Media Server Connections, and make sure it's enabled. If you're on a PC, download and install the latest version of Windows Media Player. Launch the player and go to the Library menu and select Add to Library. Here, you'll be able to add folders you want your Windows Media Player and your PS3 to access. These settings will depend on where you store your media. Then go back to the library menu and select Media Sharing. Check the box next to Share Media. Wait a few seconds and your PS3 will show up. Click it, then Allow, and then OK. We'll get to what to do next on your PS3 in a moment, but first, here's how to get things set up on a Mac. Macs don't have onboard support for this feature, so you'll need to download an application called PS3 Media Server. There are lots of programs like it, but this was the only free one I found that does the same thing as the paid ones. Once it's installed, we'll need to tweak some of the settings. Go to Navigation slash Share Settings and uncheck everything in the thumbnail section. This means that thumbnails won't show up on your PS3, but it'll mean faster loading time. I also got errors when these options were enabled, so let's keep it safe and keep them unchecked. In the bottom section, you'll need to add the folders you want available on the PS3. I added my entire hard drive, but I also added shortcuts to my music folder, workout videos, and photos. Now head to Transcoding Settings and change the maximum bandwidth to 14 or 15. Zero means an unlimited bitrate, but that makes for a lot of lag during playback. A lower bitrate does lower the quality of your playback, but that's the trade-off. Also, if you don't have 5.1 surround sound hooked up to your TV, go up to Number of Audio Channels and change it to Stereo. Now make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi on your Mac, and then hit Save, then Restart HTTP Server. Now that we've got things set up on the back end, your media is ready to be streamed to your PS3. Go to your PS3 menu and head to Photos, Videos, or Music. Your computer should show up as one of the servers, but if it doesn't, hit Search for Media Servers. If it's still not showing up, double and triple check that you followed all my instructions to a T and that your PS3 and computer are on the same network. But if it does show up, then you're set. You'll need to be in the Music menu to play music, in the video menu to play your videos, and in the photos menu to see your photos. For music, you have options for shuffling, skipping, repeating, and more when you press the triangle button when a song is playing. To keep the music playing in the background, hit the home button on your controller instead of O. And when you're viewing a photo, hit the triangle button to see a slideshow of your images. Use R1 and L1 to move forward or backwards. You can also copy your music, videos, and photos onto your PS3's hard drive by pressing the triangle when you're viewing a file. Just be aware of how much space you have left on your drive. If you're still getting stuttering while you're listening to music or watching videos, lower the bitrate in the settings we changed earlier. Again, this will lower the quality, but it beats not being able to watch at all. As always, if you have any questions, come talk to me on my Facebook page. And if you have any ideas or how-to questions, email howto at cnet.com. For CNET, I'm Sharon Backnan, and I'll see you on the interwebs.